Hi YouTube, Tim Unker from Unkered Education here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a different theme on the Edit Plus text editor. Now this is the Edit Plus text editor open in Windows. If you don't know, it's a great little text editor for Windows. It's uh, pretty fast and it runs on uh, low amount of resources, so it's really pretty cool. Uh, it has some great Emmet capabilities. As you can see here, I have an HTML file open and this is the theme the syntax highlighting that Edit Plus gives you. Now you can change this if you go up to Tools and Preferences, and then you can go to Colors here, and you can change all the colors here, or you can import themes. I'm going to show you how to import themes and where to find them. So let's go to our browser. So here's the home page for Edit Plus, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go open up a new tab here and search in Google, and we'll search Edit plus themes okay and we see here we have edit plus user files now here we have five different themes there are more that you can find and i'll show you one other place where you can find them but let's just start downloading so we'll download dark theme monotype theme the dark theme by dean householder hopefully i pronounced that correctly uh dracula theme and then these light and dark themes Okay, so I'm going to go now to my downloads folder here. Go to downloads and let's get rid of all this other stuff I downloaded here. Just trash that. And we have these. So we're going to have to extract these. So I'm going to go extract all. I'll extract this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep extracting them. Now, the monotype theme is a monokai type theme. So we'll just extract all of these. And now we can get rid of the zip files. Let's just get rid of those. I'm going to copy all of these. And actually, we'll cut them and put them in documents here. So I know where to find them. OK, we'll now close that out and go here back to the Edit Plus text editor. I'm going to go up to Tools and Preferences. And I'm going to go to Colors here, and I'm going to go to Import. Okay, so let's try this Color Settings Dark. We want to navigate to the Documents folder, and or wherever you put these. I'm going to click on this, and we have this file here. I'm going to click, it's a .ini file. I'm going to click Open, and then Apply. And you'll see the theme changes. We can now click OK to accept, or we could import a different theme if we don't like that one. So let me show you some of the other themes. So we'll go back to Documents. Let's do the Dracula one. Open that. Apply. We've got the Dracula theme. Let's try another one. Back to the folder. Edit plus dark theme by Dean Householder. Let's open that one. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that name right. Click Apply. That's that theme. Pretty nice. Um, import. Let's try another one. We have light and dark themes. Let's do the night. Click open. Apply. There you go. That's the night theme. We can also import here. Uh, let's do the day theme. Apply. There's the day theme. Pretty nice as well. I like the light themes. This one's actually really sweet. It's kind of like the traditional one, but it has a little bit more highlighting with the line. A little blue sidebar there. Or the, the line numbers are in blue. It's actually really nice. Uh, and then I think there's one more here. Oh, yes, the monotype theme. So if we open that one and apply, you'll see that you get like a monokai type theme. Okay. Uh, another thing you can do is you can follow the system dark mode. This is experimental. So I'll apply there. And it says you should restart Edit Plus to activate your input. Click OK. You see it, it does it pretty much without me restarting. But um, there we go. We've got dark mode. Okay. All right, so that's uh, changing themes. I'll show you another place to get a few more themes. So if we go back here, go to Google, and this re does require a little bit of searching. So we'll do Edit Plus Themes GitHub as our search term here. Now we see we have MDT Edit Plus Dark Theme, Dracula Edit Plus, Edit Plus GitHub Topics, Edit Plus the color scheme for JetBrains PHP Storm, uh, Dracula theme for Edit Plus. Um, let me check this one. So it's Chonga. Yes, this is the one. So uh, 
C-H-O-N-G-H-U-A uh, is the user. Here says edit plus themes. Now, what you can do here is you can go and just download the zip file. I'm going to go back to my downloads here. And I'm just going to extract all. Click extract. Okay, I'm going to take this, cut it, and copy it into my documents. You can put it wherever you want, really. But I enjoy keeping them there. And now we've got all these different themes. It's got this 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. Uh, Zen Barn one, um, and some solarized ones. Uh, I think this is Ganzi or Pastel. I don't know how to pronounce all of these. A dark theme, but let's try a few of those out. So go back to tools, preferences, colors, import. Go to your folder where you have it. Um, go to this folder, Edit Plus Themes Master. You're going to have to click into the folder again. You can move these up if you want, obviously. But uh, let's do 000. Click Open and Apply. And we see we've got that theme. Pretty sweet. Let's try another one. Let's do 003. Open. Apply. Okay. More of a bluish theme there. Let's import again. 004. Open. Apply. This is a Monokai type theme. I'm going to take a sip of coffee because I'm about to get a scratchy in the back of my throat. <clears throat> Let's try another one. Dark theme. Open. Apply. Sweet. You see, these are all pretty nice themes. He has a dragon theme. Open. Apply. Cool. Um, Ganzi. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. That one's pretty sweet. I like that one. Um, these are all pretty good. Uh, pastel. Open. Apply. Okay, this one's kind of a Zen burnish theme. It's kind of nice on your eyes. Um, Solarize dark. Open. Apply. Okay. Import. Uh, Solarize light. Open. Apply. Okay. And you might want to, you know, maybe I'll turn that off and apply now. I've got a lighter side, or I could go back. And, that'll be and, and you know, we're going to have to restart to activate this, but. Let's import last one. I think is Zenburn. Open, apply. Okay, so you've got a ton of themes here to get you started with this Edit Plus text editor. If you do choose to use it, it is a, a proprietary text editor, but it doesn't really cost that much. I'm enjoying using it. Um, not affiliated with it anyway. I just wanted to make this video for other Edit Plus users if they want to look and change their theme, mix it up, make it interesting. You know, change it up every once in a while. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you in the next video.